These are the settings you should change to get faster and better quality 3D prints. Let's go! Number 1. You can start by changing the preset to 0.16mm. Number 2. Here under the quality tab, you can enable staggered inner seams, but only if you need the model to be watertight or have stronger seams. Number 3. Enable roll base wipe speed setting. You should also enable wipe on loops and wipe before external loop. That said, if you encounter any problems with seams, you should disable these first. Number 4. If your printer runs on clipper, then turn this off, otherwise you can leave it on. Number 5. This one is a bit of a hit and miss. It rarely makes things worse, but it doesn't always make things better. Enable precise wall for better layer consistency. Just make sure the wall order below is inner outer for this setting to take effect. Number 6. You should turn on precise Z height. Just do it. Number 7. I use classic wall generator most of the time, but if I'm not happy with the results, I try using arachne mode. Number 8. You should enable the extra perimeters on overhang setting. Number 9. Enable reverse on even and set the threshold to zero. This will minimize warping. Number 10. In the strength tab, I don't usually touch any of this, except for maybe sparse infill density, which I lower most of the time to 10% and use the rectilinear sparse infill pattern. Number 11. Now if I need my parts to be stronger or more watertight, I add more walls, depending on how much strength or water tightness I would need. Number 12. Moving on to the speed tab, if I'm printing something tall and skinny, I lower the speeds of everything by 50%. Number 13. For the supports, I normally use normal auto or tree hybrid, with all the other settings depending on the model. Last but not least, number 14. And in the other step, I leave the brim on auto and disable it or force enable it, depending on the model. Happy printing everyone!